Going into it. Town versus creator. King, King Sejong Station. Sejong. Up here in the top left. In the red. Down here in the bottom right is creator for prime. It's Yan. No, it's prime. <laughs> I mean creator. And... Well, Creator, looks like he might be doing some sneaky beaky stuff, going for a bit of a forge uh, play here. Nope. He was late on that pylon. A little bit late. It's bit. very sneaky. Sean will never see it coming because he delayed his pylon. Well, look at this. He will see it coming, Valdez, because yes, he's he will. drone scouting. Because um, he's a smart guy. Borsty on Twitter just told me that BL2 owed uh, seed. And we will be seeing. That was quick. Okay. Uh, Flash versus. Well, Yolk. you know what we did uh, for season one? We actually went out of games that were bad into good games. I wish we did more of that this time. <laughs> yeah. I just. I'm. I'm All those looking zero at games, Uzone. man. I'm looking at Uzone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, live as well. Let's be real. That was, those games could have been forgotten pretty quickly. Yeah. Well. So maybe this train is going to be pretty annoying. Zapped. Trying to block any sort of hatchery that might come down as well as try and kill the, the drain at the same time. Ooh. Nice micro out of creator here, actually. Yeah, he's looking fine. Look at that. He's actually juggling those probes. I think he's going to kill it. Straight up. That was some solid micro. Damn. Nice. Back at home, Hyun's hatch goes up without a hitch, too, though. Adds two more drones. Would be at 17 supply right now, normally, but lost a drone, so. Creator's been only hitting Zerks today, right? And actually winning them? Yeah, pretty much. I wonder if he like only practiced PVZ. Well, if like, I were Gerard. Hope to get lucky. <laughs> if I were Gerard, I'd be telling him that's what he needs to be working on. Every single day. Well, he needs to work out his, his uh, PVT pretty badly as well, let's be real. Like, yeah, that's true. All the games he's lost in recent times, the simple mind drops. It's like, well, creator, man, you got a, you got a lot of fixing to do, buddy. I'm not going to lie to you. No. You're not going to baby this guy. He's a grown man. Well, we're not here to do that today. <laughs> we're actually here to be real, bring some solid coverage. Are we? Not be fake casters. <laughs> I don't know. I think we, we still meant to maintain a level of fakeness. Well, real, sure, real a little fakeness. bit of fakeness, right? A little bit. Nice. Um, but I I mean, I just just going into I this one. I won't confirm like, or deny. <laughs> <laughs> just going into like this, this type of play, like, I mean, let's be real. Like, creator is showing... PVZ that I don't think any of the three of us expected to see today. Like, yeah, he's actually winning games. Yeah, except for that last one. Which except is for that last one. Yeah, yeah. well, which is the only one we've seen today. Well, that's in the brackets, actually true. <laughs> in the brackets, I saw the brackets. They, they said you've got the brackets. Oh, so what do we see on Sejong out of these two players? I want to see Stargate out of Creator. I think he's really good at it. That's the style I've seen him do the most. And Stargate secure at third base? Yeah. Just Oracle into third base. Straight up. I think that'd be very, very likely, considering um, he does know that Hyun went for the hatch first. So he could very well just go into that pretty easily. And it'd be an even better idea if he had uh, any knowledge of that early gas we are seeing from Hyun at the natural. That's going to mean very quick speed. And obviously, Oracle would be fantastic against that. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, though. I yeah. don't think we're going to see any, like, gateway pressure, for example. Ooh, a bit of a supply block here. Mm. He needs another pylon Yeah. Well, right now. Hmm. Robo. Okay. All right. All right. What do you guys think about that? You think hey. he's going to do War Prism? Could be. I, yeah. He's making a lot of sentries. I'm thinking War Prism. Maybe a, a drop on the ramp? Maybe? We see a lot of could be Proos players like drop sentries at the nat here and do no damage and fly away. Like yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that. And I'm like I I still understand why people do this, but I see it a lot. Yeah, I I agree with you there. Maybe he goes for something else though. Maybe he goes for what else could he go for? Immortals. It could be an immortal uh, push, but I really doubt it. It'd That's be like, horrible on this map. Just not. It's nah, just not in it's general I think very it's strong anymore. Definitely gonna be war prison. Whoa. He's adding gates. Just continuous sentries out of his gateway. Wait, that's that's no speedling, Lair. Lair. Yeah, he, he was gas. making speed, but then he just canceled it. Interesting. Did he actually see? Maybe he did see the um, the Robo. Wow, it's gonna be Immortals after all. Yeah, it is gonna be Immortals. Really, really didn't expect to see this. Now let's see if it's gonna be a complete Immortal all in, or is it gonna be maybe Immortal expand? 
That's like that's almost like not even maybe. a thing, though, right? That's like, a thing. It's not actually a thing. It's like not a thing. It's not a thing, but a maybe. lot of drones. You know, maybe Hyun just is not gonna expect something like this. I think it's gonna be too immortal war prison. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking too. All right, we figured it out, guys. Let's hope we're not wrong again. Well, I mean, it, he knows he's up against Hyun, and Hyun loves his roaches more than life itself. Literally, like he will die <laughs> if he can make roaches. <laughs> Yeah. He's making spore crawlers. That's nice to see. Well, I love to see that. You know, I love I, to see maybe that. Maybe the first Zerg ever in the SSL first, qualifiers. First Zerg today just to make spores at an appropriate time. And going to Hydroden. More drones. Hmm. Does this guy even, like, have attacking units? Well, three We're more. Seeing, All like, right, full blown immortal in. Yeah. Well, I mean, the longer you can get, like, if you can get the third one up without being scouted, it's pretty strong, right? Like, yeah, but he's going to have Hydra Tech. He's got a good economy. Six Seven gas. overlords. <laughs> he's showing sentries and zealots to make him look like he's taking a third, but there's an overseer that's going to see everything. Yep. Oh. Overseer sees it. Oh. Okay. Well, he more told all in. I think he did see it. I mean, damn, well. that Hydra range is late, man. It's going to be uh, a while before he gets that, and I think the attack will be imminent. Okay, he definitely sees it. I don't know, man. I don't know, Huh? Maybe. Wait, wait, yeah, he does. <laughs> My humor is gone. All I can do is like. Mine is gone too, all, man. all I can do is lie to you. <laughs> then it's just like. All I had to do was cheese bread, Moonlaid. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> At least I paid six dollars for a sandwich. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so you sad. did it, man. I did it. So, this is gonna be decently strong if uh, Hyun doesn't get his. Hydra's grouped up here. Well, Although he does. He's, he's pretty he's good for it. He's going to be on the top of this round. But then oh. again, there are a lot of gateways back at home. War gates. War creator. Well, Let's see. He's just going to go for it. Not much of a buff for these Hydra's either, which is a scary, scary thing. Pretty good force fields here. Not much overlap. And uh, he's just force field behind. Oh yeah, right boy. away he does. And oh, man, this is this is pretty huge. He should have used these drones Here comes way the war prism. And he's just going to warp in right on top of this. Some zealots right at the front. Who cares? He should target the warp prism, but he doesn't. Yeah. If he targets the warp prism, then the gateway units do even more damage anyways. It's like lose-lose here. Everything at That's that natural game. is gone. Those you two can force field the ramp, kill the hatchery. He can ignore those spines. Just kill him. Do whatever he wants to do, spines. Oh, it's a lot of links. If they get on top of everything else, that could be it. That warp prism comes down, too. Should have force fielded that ramp. As as we say, it's over. Like everything turns around in a second. Never ever till it's over, man. Whoa. Spine helps out. Tell Spine him, survived. He didn't. He didn't right click it, man. Whoa. And now, creator, in a horrible place, remaking immortals at this point. Look at all these spores. He's not dying to DTs this game. <laughs> well, uh, like the tools that creator has now are basically like. Everything he, he needs is just like he has too small. Like his first Immortals re remake of Immortals is going to come out. One Immortal alone is not strong enough. A few flimsy sentries with like no energy is not enough. A third base is going to be almost impossible to hold if Hyun just attacks the Hydra Speed back across the map. Uh, and the only thing that Hyun is missing really is workers. But he has three base of larva, so he can slowly build that back up too. Seems like he's making mostly only units though. He's making like two drones. I wonder if he won't just go for some kind of counterattack. Those changings, yeah, they are. Sentry never more. felt more powerful in his now whole life. Now they're dead. Mm, remaking, remaking the drones, making Hydra's getting plus two attack. Uh, I think he knows for sure that that creator is simply just massing units as well. Yeah, he's he scouted the third base as empty. He's also got these links to check for pylons. Unfortunately, he misses the the crucial one that's over on the high ground. Oh, Who's nobody's going to believe that, eye. man, for a second. Uh, he thinks got to move. There's oh. a lot more zealots in this, the this composition this time. Yeah, that's actually still scary. Does he have roaches at all? Like, he should no, I, I don't remember seeing any. Like, having, like, zero, zero lings against plus one that many zealots is a horrible thing. And look, this, these force are going to cut them in half again. Spore's up here tanking a little bit, actually. That's a lot of hydras, but here come the force fields. He has enough with uh, these sentries to wall again. I don't know about those force fields either. So that's a lot of hydra damage. A of hydras. Really nice attack from the back with these lings. Oh, Attacking wow. all those stalkers in the back. The immortal shields wearing yeah. away here. And uh, those force fields did him no favors whatsoever, man. It blocked out so many zealots. He's got to turn yeah. around now. 
And again, this is just, there's not much follow-up to this. Wings are pretty cheap, and they are going to help clear this up. He's just not careful. quite able to finish it off, though. Yeah, he lost all his drones again mm. at that natural. Yeah, this, this, uh, this, this game is, the, is not over. Yeah, this is the type of attack that, as long as you keep killing drones, it becomes, you know, a little bit more viable, as it's hard to reinforce. Mothership core on the way. <laughs> Still no third base. Just one of those Protosses, man. It just doesn't yeah. stop the all-in. The never-ending all-in. His teammate Myungshik, he and him uh, you know, yeah. have a little chat. Well, that's enough force fields to cut this army in half again. Yeah. Let's see how they go down this time. Yeah, the Zealots, you know, want to come in there. But again, these forces aren't going to do them any favors. Transfuse even hitting the Spore Claw to keep it alive. <laughs> Completely pointless, but yeah. I think he just meant to hit the Hydra, but misclicked. That's it, game. It doesn't matter. He's not breaking through this. There's yeah. the transfuse on the Hydras. There we go. Gion. Everything goes down. It's going to take this. Would it have not been better for him to just go for the third base? It's, like, much easier to force field over there and not attack into a concave. Well, I guess that the, it, you can get some pretty decent force fields if you're, like, fighting next to a hatchery, and the crew yeah. spread it all around the third base. Could make things a little bit harder, especially when the remax comes or, like, a rush of lings coming out of hatcheries and whatnot. I don't yeah. know. I, I agree with that place to attack from. It's just about getting the right pulse fields in. I just don't. I don't feel like Crater could take his own third. Like Hyun was prepared for that possibility with a lot of units, and he didn't have Colossi, and it would have been really difficult to hold that location against a ton of Hydras. Uh, and he would have been down on units. So I think taking his own third base was just not really an option. Um, he seems to think it is now, but it's even less of an option <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, I just, well. I think this is going to uh, be the end. But, you know, if Hyun gives him too much time, he could somehow recover. Hyun was he way down on like, drones. A lot of time and, like, take a terrible engagement or something like that. Uh, he doesn't have Hydra speed. Okay. I thought he had that somehow, but he doesn't. Mm, plus one's going to help out a great deal as well if he gets up in time before any fight happens because it's only plus one Protoss. So Lings will be a lot more tankier. Sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sure. I'm like, yes, I agree. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure thing, me. No, Ling, you can't take on the world. Don't try to be a hero. Let's well, see the third base is about three-fourths done. Made a huge swell of drones. Mm. Look at that economic advantage. Mm. Sexy. <laughs> a lot of long distance <laughs> mining going on here. That main base is almost uh, mined out for both players. You know, uh, if Yon wants to play a longer game, he's definitely going to want to start thinking about taking a fourth base. You think, I mean, I'm thinking this, this Spire is just going to be for Corruptors to deal with a small Colossus count, right? I, th I agree. MMA. I think so. And MMA has done it. He's MMA. made it to the round of four. He yeah. beat Potato. Beat the Potato. Nice. Okay. Plus two and blank the dream. <laughs> yeah. We're only about 20 minutes into this game. Let's see how this goes. I think all he's got to do is just make some DTs, right? <laughs> well, you know, the That's game... That's the way these games have been going. Like <laughs> The game he doesn't make DTs is like the game the Pross loses. Yeah. <laughs> he did lose last game with DTs too, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. But he didn't use them offensively. He used them defensively. It's like he's considering making Mutalists instead of Corruptors right now. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a Muta switch. I like this, actually. I like it a lot. We haven't seen many Mutas. A lot. A lot of Mutas. Hurricane. Hurricane. Welcome, brother. Wait, so he he beat Hero. Whoa. He beat Hero yeah. in a PvP. It's like what? The, the one time we wanted to see Hero play. Yeah, <laughs> what? I want to check out the Whoa. score on that one. But damn. I think that must have been a 2-1 with how meters. long it was. 12 meters on the way. It was a 2-1. That's like, that's he, a pretty surprising result. Ooh. He won game one but lost game two and um, then won the third game. They he caught the, the mutas coming out of the hatchery and just in time, so Stalkers are going to be in position at every point. It would be incredible if Creator is able to come back in this game. Nice observer snipe. Well, the uh, the economy definitely got reset a few times for Hyun, so he has, he has had windows to come back. Just about making that right army, because yeah. obviously mutas are going to be a bit of a problem. And sure. Here we go. This cannon's not ready. Probe count already low enough for Creator as it is, doesn't want to lose anymore. Not a single muta dies. <laughs> I love it when that happens. That's so annoying as a Protoss. Like, oh god. I kind of wish the Mutalists had some sort of animation like Reapers when they regen, because they regen so quickly. 
That's just a fake Venus. We're not scared of that. Saw your fake Colossus shenanigans earlier. That wasn't real either. Yeah. Plus three. Now I'll be getting creator. What tech are you going to use to deal with these muters? Well, next question. Storm and Archons would be nice, but uh, switching to Stargate is just not affordable. And even the Archons, I don't think, is either at mm. this point. Like he just doesn't have the economy to do that. Is he just going to try to use Blink? I guess he could. It's it's kind of gross there. Oh god! Oh god! Look oh god! This. Here we Whoa. go! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that oh, no. is how you don't make it into the Star League. <laughs> Damn, man, the blink forward. This is why you see so many players when they could blink forward from our perspective, why they don't, because you never know what's on the other side. Yeah, well, is he going to try this time as well? He could. He could. Well, yep. he's going there's, to. There's nothing to Tens buffer around. for the Hydras. He needs more lings. That's yeah. what he's making. Definitely got rid of a lot of the stalkers. Maybe he had to go back to the nat, to the main, maybe. Do a little bit more damage. I think his son has like five bases now. So yeah. if he just keeps trading like this, he's just going to be infinitely ahead. Well, the thing is, like, Yan never has to move away from Mutas at this point because yep. the tech is not going to stop him at all. There's no Storm. Him. There's no, you know, there's no Phoenix tech. I don't know about engaging that, but he doesn't have to fight. All he has to do is, like, pick apart the base with Mutas. And just keep making Mutas mm -hmm. until he's maxed out. Yep. Every 100 gas he gets goes into Mutas. Don't stop until you have 100 Mutalisks. Yep, that's the plan. Four more. Plus three is getting closer to being done, but like, creator's best bet at this point, which is like a, a bad chance, is to like do a, um, to do a uh, all in, you know, like a base trade. So uh, we're back on camera. It's eight o'clock. Uh oh. Does I think this might be the end, guys. Okay, we're going to restart the broadcast, guys. So be don't leave the chat. Just re refresh the Twitch stream or the Azuba stream or wherever you're at in, like, yeah. just a second. So 30 just, seconds. So just, like, wait about a minute just to be safe and then refresh. Or just keep mm. refreshing, whichever you like. Yeah, we'll be back just resetting the stream so, for uh, some mysterious reason. So I, I guess we'll be right back. Or are we just going to be on camera? And I think then we're then just going to be on camera. Okay, that's cool. How are you guys doing? You guys like my jacket? I like your jacket. I bought this in Korea. All right, Back 10 in seconds. 10 seconds. Goodbye.